than 38 other states. And yet, yet, starting today, businesses like hair salons, gyms, tattoo parlors, and bowling alleys are free to open. That's thanks to an order from the state's Republican governor. And it's not just Georgia. Several states have now announced plans to ease restrictions, blindsiding frontline medical workers. Washington Post writes this. I Tennessee want you to hear this guy. Reopening has been met with dread. You'll see it. He's going to sneeze. Who are in quote, complete disbelief that they are reopening the state. Compounding that disbelief is the fact that we've only just begun to wrap our arms around the full scope of the ongoing crisis. New York Times reporting, quote, researchers now believe that hidden outbreaks were creeping through cities like Chicago, New York, Seattle, and Boston in January and February, earlier than previously known. Let's bring into our conversation the Rev Al Sharpton, host of Politics Nation here on MSNBC. Now, President once that girl starts speaking network, in the middle, Kimberly Atkins, one Wisconsin of those two between Rev and Al Sharpton and the white guy, TV one of them going to sneeze. Still here as well. Just listen. Ken, let me start with you. We need to reopen. People want to reopen, even if it's as a new normal, even if it's with masks and social distancing. But you know, if you have to ask the question, how Listen. bad was Georgia's plan? It was so bad that Pence and Trump are against it. Yes. I mean, one interesting thing about the reporting about the reopening plan in Georgia was how closely it matched a lot of what we see out of this White House, which is that it caught a lot of people by surprise, including state officials, uh, emergency officials, whose job it will be to ensure the safety of Georgia. Look at that fucker there. He look like a Ku Klux Klan motherfucker, don't he? Big Bubba. Uh, you heard that sneeze. Reopening the country. And 